How you doing, boy? So let me tell you guys my mom's biggest secret. baby. Ramadan's here. Ramadan's here. Ah. Ah. What is poppin' Adumi gang? This is Adam Saleh and I am back with another video. Ramadan Mubarak to all the Muslims around the world. Ramadan Mubarak to my Adumi gang all over the world. You guys are watching this right now on the first day of Ramadan. For me right now, it's the day before. So tomorrow should be day one of my first ever Ramadan vlog in 2019. I remember I started Ramadan vlogs in 2013. So it's been six years. That is crazy. My sixth year in a row to be doing Ramadan vlogs. It's gonna be so, so so exciting. I promise to give you guys long vlogs during Ramadan so you guys can have time passing by quick while you have to wait to eat. Also guys, it is not just the first day of Ramadan. It is also Ali's birthday while you guys are watching this. Ali is turning one years old on May 6th, which is insane because it feels like yesterday he was just born. Rima, Mohsin, and Ali, they're finally coming back today. So you guys are going to get to see them in the vlog. I haven't seen them since before I ran away from my crib, which is a long time. It's like 10 days. So I'm so excited to see them. Also, I did tell you guys the day before that I will be telling you guys my mom's biggest secret, but I didn't want to say it in yesterday's vlog because I wanted to wait until Rima comes back because she's going to help me reenact the secret of my mom. So let's start off this vlog by giving it a giant thumbs up. Thank you guys. You guys have been showing crazy love on a thumbs up. And do not forget to subscribe if you guys want to stay updated with my videos. I upload every single day and I promise you guys my Ramadan videos is going to be lit because I'm going to gonna be fasting and I'm literally gonna have so much time in my hands so I'm gonna vlog and have a lot of fun. Guys, finally Rima, Mohsen, and Ali, they are here. I've been literally waiting in their room for so long. I miss them so much and I know you guys miss them so much too. Guys, come on. It's been so long. Uh-oh. <laughs> Mohsen is here! Mohsen! My baby, I miss you! My baby! <laughs> Oh my god, I missed him so much, my habibi, what's up? Mwah! I miss you too. I miss you more, but I miss you more. I miss you more. I miss you more. I miss you more. How you been, man? Good. Give me a kiss, give me a kiss. Mm. A bigger kiss. <laughs> Alright, okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm about to fall. Okay. okay. <laughs> that was a long, long kiss, man. Where's Rima? Yeah, where's Rima? Where's Rima? Coming. She's coming? Uh, I didn't. What? I miss you. I miss you more, man. I miss you more. I miss you so much, you little cutie pie, man. Look, get off with your cheeks, man. Rima. Rima! I miss you so much. I How you doing? You, too, you got big. Oh my goodness, you're so heavy now, man. <laughs> Mashallah, Rima, you're so heavy. I'm about to fall. Whoa, Rima is heavy now. Oh my goodness, what you been eating, Rima? I'm telling you something about Ali. What? Do you know he's been saying add add? He says my name? Uh -huh. Alright guys, I'm gonna go downstairs to Ali. Let's see if he remembers me. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> What's up, boy? What's up, cutie? What's up? What's up? <laughs> He's officially one years old while you guys are watching this. That is crazy, man. One year has gone by so quick, man. How you doing, boy? Adi. Adi. He's saying it. Adi. He's saying my name. <laughs> Yo, he's, he got so much bigger, mashallah. Yeah. Guys, I heard he climbs up the steps now, so we need to get so we need to get something to block the steps, yeah. so he won't go up there and fall. You becoming a bad boy? Yeah. I knew he's gonna be a bad boy. I knew it. I know. I knew it. I knew. It. Look, he's already climbing on me. Habibi, man, I missed you. It's your birthday, and I know you want to rock. We got eight kicks in the building. What's up, man? What's poppin', man? Yo, Ali got so big, mashallah, man. How he put his hand up? He went like this. <laughs> he, said, he knows how to say Allah? Yeah. So the three words that he knows is Baba, Adam, and Allah. My mom taught him how to say Allah. Baba. Baba. Yo. Baba. <laughs> Guys, what are we doing for his birthday tomorrow? We're turning up. On Ramadan? Uh, Guys, I got two monkeys now on me, man. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Alright, Mas, get off, get off. Okay, that's it, that's it. Marcel, that's stop it. it. Stop. Adam! Adam! Well, oh my god, yeah. Literally. It's oh, Mas, why you love jumping on me, man? Oh, we kicked, yo, my G. 
It do me gang, it feels so good to reunite with Mohsen, Ali, and Rima because I'm so used to seeing them every day since they live with me. To be honest, I was lonely here in my basement. Now Rima and Mohsen, they're always gonna be here. Mohsen is here playing Fortnite. Mohsen, why do you play so much Fortnite, huh? I'm a big boy. You're a big boy? Uh-huh. Rima! This coach you watching my vlog, yo. I've been watching the vlog. Why did you run away, stupid? Because I know it was a dumb decision of mine, but like, I don't know, you're late. <laughs> what do you think about everything going on, Rima, huh? Mm, I mean, Gedda's mad at you. I know. Gedda, which is my mom. Gedda means grandma in Arabic. She is mad at me, I know. So what's your reaction to everything that's been going on? Because you're the only one out of Mas and Ali that, you know, that's smart and like not a kid. You know, you grew up now, you know? You're seven now, right? Mm-hmm. You're seven years old. Eight and like four months. What do you want to happen? I hate it to be in vlogs again. That's <laughs> that's what you want? Uh, Why? I don't know. It's just like, I feel bad. Why do you feel bad? I don't know. Because she's been in the vlog since like 2012. It's unfair. Your aunt is not doing the right choice. I know, but like she shouldn't even be making choices. All right, guys. So the secret that I'm going to be saying about my mom has something to do with education. And I've never asked my dad. I think I did ask my dad about how long did he go to school for. Probably like, I don't know, maybe over five years ago. So I don't really remember. So I'm going to go upstairs and ask him for the vlog if he even went to school and how long he went to school. And at what age did he get married? Because I'm just like, I'm confused, man. I'm so confused. You guys will know why. Because I'm going to be speaking about the biggest secret about my mom. That's the reason why I'm asking my dad right now. Can we guess? Guess what? The biggest secret of our mom, of your mom, get that. Rima, you don't even know what it is. She's nice. <laughs> Rima, that's not a secret. She is nice. She has six toes. I mean, yeah, she does have six toes, but like, still, like, what? So, that's not. That's not a secret, though. It's a different secret. One, two, three, four, five. What? Yeah, she has six toes. She. I'm gonna go check. You. <laughs> But yeah, this secret is something that no one knows at all. I didn't even know either. So let me go upstairs and ask my dad that question. I'll see you guys in the next chat. <laughs> guys, I'm here with Baba Saleh. He's eating a banana, you know what I'm saying? He's staying healthy, mashallah. Yeah. All right, so I have a question for you. I don't, think, I don't think I've ever asked you this, but to what grade? Did you go to school when you were younger? Uh, under the tree. Under the tree? Yeah, I didn't have no school, no, no house. So did you, did you get your education and... Only the Quran, that's it. The Quran? MashaAllah, that's good, that's good. So, uh, what about my mom? Did she, did she learn anything? No. Why? I don't know. She didn't go to school. She didn't go to school? Did she learn the Quran? No. Why? She didn't go to school. And, and how old were you when you got married? That's another question. I've, I've, when you got married, 26. When you got married? Yeah, 25. When you got married, 25, 26? Yeah. So you were my age, right now? Yeah. yeah. That's well, crazy. What about you? What about you? Hey, hey, come back. Guys, also, Rima is going to be fasting for the first time ever mm -hmm. for the, the whole, whole day, day tomorrow, man. So stay tuned, man. I'm excited for Rima because usually she used to always eat in front of me or do like a quarter day. But this time she's doing a whole day. And I ain't going to lie. It's a long, long day, man. Rima, you got this. You got Every this. day. You got this. How confident are you? 100%. You sure? All right, we're going to be looking back at this. <laughs> It do me gang, I feel so bad for Ali, he is sick and his birthday is literally in a few hours so he's gonna be sick for his birthday party tomorrow. You okay Habibi? Huh? He has a little fever so hopefully inshallah he gets better. He doesn't stop moving man. Daddy? <laughs> guys, you know what? I'm gonna go take him to my dad and I'm gonna come back and tell you guys my mom's secrets. I'll see you guys. Eh? It is now the moment of truth. So as you guys know, I have a really strict aunt. Doesn't want Hayla to be in vlogs. She doesn't want Rima to be in vlogs. She doesn't want Dina to be in vlogs when they're older. She wants to make their life choices, which I think is wrong. Just because they're girls doesn't mean they shouldn't be in vlogs. Just because they're girls doesn't mean they shouldn't go to school. And it doesn't mean they have to stay in the kitchen and work as a housewife. So let me tell you guys my mom's biggest secret. Okay, so... All right, I don't know how to start. I don't know how to start saying this. It's like so hard to say this, all right? So my mom was born 
in Yemen. When she was around seven to eight years old, she was a really sweet, sweet young girl. She was so innocent. All she wanted was an education so she could learn and then get a job and then hopefully get out of Yemen and go to America and work there and to give her family a nice life in the future. So when my mom was around seven, eight years old, she went to her first day of school. She was in school. She was so happy because it's her first day and it's so hard, you know, for Arab women to, you know, to get their education. She was looking forward to become a doctor. That was like her dream. So literally her first day of school at the age of seven, she was as happy as she can be. But then in the middle of the class, someone, I'm not going to say who that someone is, but they found out that my mom went to school for the first time ever. And they were freaking out because my mom is a lady and she's in school and she shouldn't do that because a woman shouldn't be able to go to school. So this person was so, so angry. He went all the way to my mom's school. In her class, he grabbed my mom by her hair and he literally dragged her home from school by pulling her hair. He took her all the way home by pulling her hair. My mom was crying. My mom was in tears. She literally didn't know what to do. She's seven, eight years old, so she had no clue what to do. So then this person took her home and he told her, you're not allowed to go to school. You're a lady. You stay here. You stay at home and you have to be a maid, pretty much a maid. You have to clean. You have to cook. Just stay at home. My mom was not even allowed to leave her home until she gets married. This is so messed up in so many ways because my mom, she had so much potential to become something huge in life, something amazing that she always wanted to be. But her dreams were broken because of some of her family members who thought it was wrong for a female to go to school and they refused her to do that. And now so many decades later, so many years later, my mom doesn't even know her ABCs. My mom doesn't even know how to count. My mom doesn't even know how to read or write. And I feel so bad because this is my mother. My mom was literally so depressed. She felt like she had no life. And until my dad, he came to the rescue, he fell in love with my mom. He loved her so much. He wanted to marry her and he went through so much to marry my mom. And then when they got married, my mom finally got to go outside. But still, when you never go to school, it's just really bad. So it was so hard for my mom to even go to America. It was so hard for her to even sign her name. Like that's messed up. She doesn't know how to sign her freaking name. And her family members are the ones that think that's right. And they're still trying to continue this tradition. Seriously, you guys need to wake up, man. I know you guys are watching this because you guys called my mom earlier today, violating me, telling me to shut up and to not mention you guys anymore. But I'm not saying no name. And I I don't want this shit continuing on in my family. Times have changed. Nothing is the same now, you know? Women should be able to go to school, should be able to get their education. They should be able to make their own choices. They should be able to achieve their goals and have a life. But seriously, wallah, I feel so bad for my mom and I feel so bad for some of the females in my family. Y'all shouldn't be treating them like that. I know you guys are probably watching this like some YouTuber kid, 25 year old, trying to act like he can control us, but I'm not controlling you guys. I'm speaking to my aunt and uncles right now. I'm not controlling you guys. I'm just saying what's right and I'm putting in my opinion and you guys are just watching this getting angry and telling me not to mention it not to mention that but I am mentioning it because I don't want this happening ever again and I will refuse for that to happen ever again in my family and if you guys continue to try to do some ish like that do not even call me your family anyways guys that was my mom's biggest secret. Till this day, she still doesn't know anything. All she knows is how to speak and communicate. Alhamdulillah, she is doing good, but it just sucks that she had to go through that when she was younger. I mean, for her, I understand it was a long time ago, but now my family should learn from that mistake because if they want the females in my family to grow up educated, they need to stop being so strict and stop being so close-minded. Like if they're freaking extremists, I'm sick and tired of holding my stuff in and letting stuff happen because I've already seen a lot of stuff happen and I let it happen because I was younger and I didn't want to say nothing and I was brainwashed by my family saying it's okay you're good you're a guy you're gonna be amazing you're gonna be have a good life you know you're a guy I don't care about myself being a guy I care more about my family being able to do what they want so I hope you all understand and I know my whole family's watching this I hope you guys understand if not I'm, I'm, I'm not even gonna say nothing it's Ramadan tomorrow so I'm uh yeah do me gang stay tuned for tomorrow's vlog my first day of Ramadan 2019 I'm so excited thank you guys so much for all your love and support if you guys enjoyed the vlog make sure you guys give it a giant thumbs up and go turkey and do not forget to subscribe because i upload every single day do me gang i'll see you guys tomorrow probably in more bigger trouble but i don't give a damn because i feel like what i am doing is right i love you guys so much i'll see you guys tomorrow take care and peace i love you i love you